Hi and welcome into this video. Now we've been looking at changing scientific uh, notation into standard form and standard form into scientific notation in the first part of this video series. Now what we're going to do is take a look at what happens if you're going to multiply a number written in scientific notation by another one in scientific notation. So here's what that looks like. Now this is scientific notation. Remember the idea is the first part is the value between 1 and 10 and you have a power of 10. So what happens if you're multiplying that by that? What happens? Well you're going to multiply the coefficients or the index numbers here together first. So that will give us 24 times and then of course it's 10 to the fifth times 10 to the third. Now remember your properties of exponents where you have the same bases so you're going to add the powers together. So that will give us 24 times 10 to the eighth power. Remember to add the exponents. Now what we've got to look at is this is not in scientific notation as an answer yet. 24 is really 2.4 and do you remember how to change it to um, scientific notation? Yeah, we're going to move the decimal in 1, and so it's going to be times 10 to the first. So really, my answer is this times this. We just have to kind of clean it up a little bit. So when I combine that together, notice that we do have a value between 1 and 10, which is 2.4 times 10 to the, and now we do have to add an additional exponent there, 10 to the ninth. All right, so you just have to be very careful. Multiply the coefficients or the index numbers together first. Add the exponent powers, power of 10, and then kind of clean it up a little bit and make sure you have a scientific notation answer. In my second example, I have 2.4 times 10 to the negative 2 power times 3 times 10 to the 6th power. Well, the first thing we do, of course, is multiply those two numbers together, which will be 7.2. And then I multiply these two powers of 10 together. Remember to add the exponents. And I know it's a negative 2. Don't let that throw you off. That will have to be times 10 to the 4th. Then you check it. One last glance. Is it already in scientific notation? Is this a value between 1 and 10? Yes. So in this case, the answer is a lot easier. Now let's try some examples. All right, I have six examples for you to try. And actually, uh, in the interest of keeping this a fairly short video, I'm going to probably discuss the first four, and you can try those last two on your own. But pause the video and give it a shot. Number 17, when I multiply 3.5 by 8.4, that's going to give me 29.4. And then I have 10 to the 8th times 10 to the minus 1. We add those out powers together, that will be 10 to the 7th. But 29.4 is too big. We're going to have to move that decimal point over 1, and that's going to be increasing our power there. So that's why it's 10 to the 8th. Okay, there's our official answer right there. Number 18, 1.1 times 7.149 is going to be 8.239 as you can see here. And I'm going to have 10 to the 1st, or excuse me, 10 to the 0 times 10 to the 4th will still be 10 to the 4th. So that one is fairly straightforward in our answer. Number 19, 7.51 times 1.5 is going to be 11.27 times 10 to the first. But since I need a value between 1 and 10, I have to move the decimal over there, and that will make our index here 1.127, and we have to add an additional power of 10. So there we go, times 10 to the second. Number 20, you take the index here, multiply by the index there. That will give us 72.84, if you do that on your calculator, times 10 to the, that should be a positive 2 power, right? And again, that's too large. We're going to have to be adding another power of 10 to be able to move that decimal point over. So now it becomes this answer here. And number 21 and 22, I hope you gave those a shot. 
you can see those answers right there. All right, thank you for going through this video series. We're at the end of the main topics. Now it's a self-quiz, so grab a piece of paper, get the next video in the series, and thanks for watching.